Hi, my name is Feline Longmore and this is Stained Glass High Tides for the two or three people in the world who are still playing their high tide deck. Yeah, you! So, this is Stained Glass High Tide, and uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to emphasize blue. So we're going to go over the border with a blue Sharpie paint pen. Once we're done going over with the Sharpie paint pen, um, <clears throat> we're going to put down a darker blue, then we're going to put down a lighter blue. Then we're going to start emphasizing the stained glass itself. Uh, we're showing this on more than one card. I actually did a place at a time. And uh, in the middle, we have kind of like some teal and some green that we could bring out, uh, whereas on the bottom and top, it's just different shades of blue. Uh, once we're done uh, waiting for the paint to dry and we put in all the, the stained glass and um, one thing to note, we leave the name and mana cost visible. Uh, the original art, we leave the merfolk there in this specific version. Uh, we want the original art recognizable at enough of a level that they remain tournament legal, which are essentially the guidelines that the judges will look for. Uh, but it's ultimately up to a head judge in the end. Always check your ultras with the head judge before a tournament starts. Um, and um, <clears throat> once we're done uh, drawing in the paint, uh, you can do the, the shards of glass as thin or as thick as you want. Uh, the thinner and smaller they are, the more detail there is, but the more time it takes. Uh, but if you like a lot of detail, I think that's cool. So uh, that's the uh, look that we go for. As you'll notice uh, in a lot of the stained glass altars, it's kind of theming uh, a similar pattern, which everybody has their own uh, way of doing things when they're creating something or they're working or, or they're going about you know their lives. So uh, this is how I do... Uh, or how I did, I should say. Uh, if I was to be in, maybe they'd come out a little different. But this is how I did these, this slash these versions of uh, High Tide stained glass altars. Uh, even though we're only seeing one here, uh, there is a play set. Uh, and if that helps anybody out at all for uh, High Tide stained glass altars, um, that's it. That's it for this video. So um, just know that, uh, you know, in order to die one day, first we have to be alive. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> so uh, that is it. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Yay!